everybody, my name is Melissa Welsh. I am the founder of Pixel Sense and Melissa Welsh Photography. And I'm Amanda Haddo, the founder of Amanda Haddo Photography. And this is Wine Down Wednesday. Come and grab a glass. Phew! So, Amanda, how's it going? <laughs> it's going well. Um, feels, I think, like many of us are in the fall season um, that we're getting into some fall sessions, um, starting to think about holidays around the corner, yeah. and uh, I am sort of weighing out the options of whether to do mini sessions or not, and yeah, I thought I'd ask you and, and see if any of you guys are finding the same conflicting thoughts about whether to do mini sessions or whether to just keep those sessions as full sessions. Cool. Well, yeah. I guess my first question would be, what exactly is a mini session to you? So I would offer clients um, a much shorter session time, yeah. I think, um, and they would maybe instead of having 25 to 35 in, images in a gallery, they'd have 10 to 15 or okay. 5 to 10, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, so maybe a traditional family session that would be two hours would now be cut down to half an hour. Okay. Yeah. So, and what, would, what is the purpose of your mini session? Well, I think it's just getting families in that may not be able to do a full session or at this time of the year they just want to have a snapshot of their family um, in maybe a slightly more theme type of session where they didn't yeah. want 25 or 30 images from that. They only want a handful of images okay. um, and then potentially producing holiday cards or something like that from it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I think many sessions if you strategically can make sense mm -hmm. right yeah um, but I think we should keep talking about them yeah. um, so okay so you're gonna have people come in so the idea is is that people are going people are going to spend less money than they normally would yeah. because you're going to create an image that isn't necessarily necessarily a legacy image yeah it is something that is seasonal or yeah th does that make sense yeah exactly I okay. mean it, it might not be a traditional outside landscape portrait of their family okay. it might be inside the studio um, with everybody gathered together around a little Christmas tree or something okay. that's classic um, but really only that's good for this time of the year okay so mm -hmm. I think if that's what you're gonna do then I think it's okay Okay. One of my biggest concerns with mini sessions is that if you are offering your regular service or your regular product um, in a mini session format, my worry would be that you're devaluing your reputation, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So if it's like, like say your newborn work, if you just ran a bunch of mini sessions on your newborn work and then everybody had it in their brain that you know, this is what you offer, then you're going to have a hard time making a proper living the rest of yeah. the year if you've devalued your main source of work. Yeah. But I think that if you're going to do some one-off themed things that don't make sense any other time of year, in this case we've got Halloween coming up, so you could do a, a fall themed mini yeah. session, yeah. Um, or you could do a Christmas themed mini session, mm -hmm. I think that that is an idea that's definitely worth exploring. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, one of the issues that I see out there with a lot of photographers is that the idea of the mini session has like kind of gotten away from them and they feel like they need to give a whole bunch of stuff away for nothing. Yeah. And in that case, it makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. At the end of the day, you absolutely have to still be profitable and make the amount of money that you need to make in order to cover your time and all of that sort of thing. So the idea of doing like a mini session for 99 bucks and giving away five digital files, yeah. it's like yeah. all you're gonna make is 99 bucks. You know, yeah. like the people that you're gonna attract for that. Yes. But if you can put more thought into the strategy really, like the first thing that came to my mind is like if you were gonna offer that short mini session here in the studio, well what I would wanna do is photograph them in the studio and then whisk them into that lounge where they place their order right here. Yeah. And so they're in yeah. and out of the studio and like so for you, that is extremely efficient 
and in theory very profitable, right? Yeah. If you set yourself up to do it that one day and yes. it's yourself, you bring an assistant <laughs> in, or in this case, you know, Caitlin would be in here to do the sales for you. Yeah. So you could be in here just pumping people yeah. through, yeah. right? Yeah. Like doing two or three sessions an hour, imagine mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And then they go straight to Caitlin, they see her, they place their order, they're out, the order goes through. Yes. I think if you did something like that, yeah. that could be really. Yeah. Yeah, it can you know? be really profitable. As opposed to yeah. some people will run those mini sessions and they'll drive out from this location to that location mm -hmm. and do 20 minutes here and 20 minutes there or yeah. only two, you know, like then it's like, from your client's perspective, they're going to have a hard time spending money, you know, because they feel like they got something mini. Yeah. Um, but for you, it's still almost the exact same amount of time and effort. So, yeah. Yes. Anyway, I don't know, was that helpful <laughs> at all? Yeah, no, I think so. I think, um, yeah, if we're if any of us are going to go ahead with many sessions mm -hmm. to make them as profitable as you can without giving away absolutely everything, yeah. having a little bit of room in the sales or in the viewing room, especially if you're doing it right away, to be able to increase that um, minimum spend yeah. um, and not spending too much time on them, yeah. and just have them as uh, a way to get to know clients and maybe start to build a relationship that they would then come back in the new year for a full family session yes. or when they have their next baby, have um, them in for a newborn session. Exactly. That's what Almost I'm as a lead generator. Exactly. And I think if yeah. you use it as a tool like that, then it can be done, um, it can be done very well. But if you're just yeah. like doing it with no thought or strategy and you're just like, well, I just need to make some money so I'm going to do a bunch of mini sessions. And then a month later you're like, ah, you know, I'm still not getting any calls. I need to do some more mini sessions. And then like all people ever see on your Facebook is the mini sessions, mm -hmm. mini sessions mm -hmm. and that's what you've become. And yeah. I think at a certain level in our industry, there's almost a, there is a, a group of clients out there that have been conditioned to just wait for these mini sessions where they get everything yes. for almost nothing. And yeah, um, true. I think that it's, I think if you make the decision to do it, you've got to be really strategic about it. Yeah. So. so tell us about what you guys think about mini sessions. Do you yeah. think that they're profitable? Do you think they're worth doing? Um, let us know in the comments below. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's Wine Down Wednesday. Yeah, thanks everybody. Join us again soon. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>